Hello everyone. My name is Masako Kageyama. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Tokyo. We'd like to introduce our paper focused on a family peer education program for mental disorders. It was published in Family Process. Japan had the highest psychiatric bed ratio among developed countries. The government has shifted its policies from hospitalization to community living. However, most inpatients have been discharged to their homes. This graph shows resident status of people with serious mental illness in Japan. About 84% of them live with their family members. However, only 22% of caregivers report having access to enough information about mental illness within three months since its onset. To provide educational opportunities, a family peer education program, the Omotenashi Family Experiences Learning Program, or Omotenashi Help, was established in 2007 in Japan after the start of the Family to Family Education program in the U.S. In Japan, about 70% of primary caregivers are mothers. A sense of responsibility and guilt are main reasons for serving as primary caregiver. And um, there are many reasons for their isolation outside and inside the home. Japan has a long history of family groups. The number of family groups has been decreasing since 2004. In the past, many local family groups built and managed small rehabilitation facilities. Recently, the main goal of family groups has shifted from managing facilities to the empowerment of families. The Omotena Shift Help addresses the goal of transition in the context of family groups. The Omotena Shifel is a small site structured family peer educational program implemented and coordinated by a team of facilitators. Its goal is to promote the participants and the facilitators' empowerment. This shows a typical chronological order of family involvement in Omotena Shifel and family groups. Anyone who participates in one course can become a facilitator after training. Program advisors with experience and additional training teach and support facilitators. All program facilitators and advisors are family members and not professionals. This study focused on family involvement as participants, then as facilitators. The current study's aim was to describe how families' caregiving experiences change, beginning with the onset of a family member's mental illness through their involvement in a family group or peer education program as participants, then facilitators. We conducted a qualitative descriptive study, a total 27 facilitators were interviewed. Results The family's caregiving process began with a family member's onset of a mental illness accompanied by caregivers' negative experiences. The family's way of life was unfolded by sharing their experiences. First, as participants in the family groups and then as facilitators in the Omotena Shifel. The value that they placed on their experiences shifted from negative to positive, which was apparent in their ability to support participants, learn from each other, and then help other families. I explain each stage. In the first stage, families attempted to manage the situation after the illness's onset. However, the patient's condition generally did not improve. 
difficulties became negative. Families often blamed themselves for failures. Families could not reveal their negative experiences to anyone. In the second stage, families talked freely about their negative experiences with other families and felt a sense of relief. Families recognized qualitative differences between the greater empathy of their peers than professionals. After sharing experiences as participants, most families were asked to be facilitators. In the third stage, families functioned their new role as facilitators in the Omotena Shifelf. By implementing the program, they used their experiences which were previously negative ones, to support the participants. In the first stage, facilitators found it helpful to organize their experiences in a timeline of issues and events. Facilitators who became negative experiences affirmed them, although the negative experiences still existed. In the final stage, Facilitators enjoyed observing participant expressions change from non expressive to cheerful. Facilitators' awareness of how their experiences could help other families created a desire to help them more. Facilitators, aware of the value of their experiences, found social roles that were unique to experienced families and empower facilitators to lead their lives in their own way, including as caregivers. Conclusions Families acting as facilitators in the program experienced the third, fourth, and fifth stages of the five-stage process. Being facilitator promoted families' caregiving processes in the Japanese context. Thank you for your interest.